so what's up guys Matt here with Droid Tech I know I haven't made a video in a very very long time because I was really getting used to my new job and stuff so I didn't have time to actually make videos and grab some products but I have more coming on the way so do stay tuned but anyway this is something I didn't expect to get today my friends at the telco actually called me up and said oh stock's ready you can come and collect it today so I was like oh really stunned and really excited I know there's probably a ton of videos already doing unboxings of iPhone NS Max which I have right in front of me but anyway this is my unboxing of the Malaysian version of the iPhone XS Max so without further ado let's begin this video so taking a look at the box and the wrapper is actually I've already opened it because the telco actually asked me to unwrap it and take a look at the content inside to make sure everything is perfect they even asked me to turn on the phone to make sure everything is working perfectly fine you can see the wrapper is already taken off so anyway i tried to seal it back the best i could but to no avail so let's just unbox it as you can see this is the 256 gb version of the iphone 10s max and i think 512 gb is way too much for a phone i mean if you're using a probably a, a ultra book or something or even an ipad that would probably make sense as you'll be probably editing videos on it and stuff but on the phone, I think it's pretty insane and the price tag is too high. So I decided to get myself 256 GB in the latest color, which is gold, of course. You can see from the box here. So let's quickly pull off the wrapper. It's not so fun anymore because I just had to head at the shop. So anyway, this is the box, the usual Apple presentation. You can see there's a nice gold trim around. I'm not sure whether the camera's picking it up. You can see. Like a sort of a matte chrome embossed iPhone on top of the box. And you can see the side is iPhone. Bottom Apple logo, iPhone and Apple logo again. 256 GB. You can see. Okay. So let's open the box and see what we have inside. So the usual Apple presentation. See, designed by Apple in California. So as you expect to see inside, the small sleeve is actually a quick start guide. You all know how to use iPhones and iPhone hasn't really changed in the past few years. I mean the OS in, in sense. So it should be pretty straightforward. So you can see Quick Start Guide in two languages. See, just for the fun of it. See it right here. So you can see there's a SIM ejector tool right here as well. We all know what to do. Straightforward. Some user guide tips, I guess. Okay, let's put that to the side. Not really important stuff. Apple stickers, which I don't really use at all, even though I collect them. So you can see, the phone is even taken off the wrapper because I actually went over to a local store and got a screen protector installed on my phone. This is something like Clear Coat by Mobile Fitters, but this is called Protection Pro by Clearplex, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I think that's pretty good, so I decided to install it and it's pretty cheap. I mean, 90 ringgit, one year warranty on like maybe yellowing, peeling, and also I think that's a pretty good deal. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box. So Apple earpods, which I never ever used because I actually use my own headphones. And then you can see there's no 3.5 mm to lightning adapter there. What a bummer, but I use Bluetooth anyway. You can see lightning cable, the usual set of like stuff and also a charging brick, a slow charging brick. But anyway, I have the Mofi wireless charger, so it's not a big deal. I took it over for my iPhone 10, which I sold off about a week ago. Okay, so now let's take a look at the phone itself. So let's just go through the basic stuff on the exterior of the phone, which is the earpiece, then your front camera and other sensors, your infrared, which shoots out dots at your face so you can be able to scan it for face ID and stuff. And also this also acts as the secondary speaker, the stereo speaker. And you see the massive screen right here, which is something I'm really excited about because I always hated the iPhone 10 screen because it's too small, even though it's excellent, but it's too small for me because I'm used to using big phones like the Huawei P20 Pro, which is my daily driver and also my S9 Plus. So those are really big screen phones. And I came to this and I was like, oh, it's so crammed. I'm trying to type and I keep on making mistakes. So, but now they have solved it with the 10s Max. So, okay, taking a look at the side, you can see volume rocker and also your mute ring switch. 
usual. You can see this beautiful gold color. And you can see the not so symmetrical design of the speaker grill as well as the microphone. I'm not a really big fan of that, but it doesn't affect my OCD. And then you can see the redesigned antenna line or antenna band, I should say. You can see this beautiful gold color. I'm in love with this color. In fact, I'm more in love with this color than with the black one because the black is not actually black, but more towards a gray color. That's why you call it space gray. I didn't really like the look of the gray. So I think this beautiful gold finish looks excellent. You can see the SIM card tray, the usual affair, which is your Siri and it's also your power button and your wake button. So on the top, we design antenna bands again. Let me get that in focus. Yeah, right there. I think this gold color scratches pretty fast so I would rather put on a case or at least uh, some sort of skin on your phone I mean you don't want to hide the color of your phone so maybe you can put a clear skin okay so taking a look at the back you can see this gorgeous gold color which is also pretty chrome in a way and you can see the all new 12 megapixel camera with a telephoto lens as well so that we'll get to in the next video where I do some camera samples and video shots and stuff like that so do stay tuned for that i'm really in love with this color it's so nice and reflective it's not going to be reflective for any longer because my fingerprints is going to probably destroy the look of it so you can see apple logo iphone is the usual affair so you can see it's very nice i mean i'm very curious to how this band will actually hold up because my space gray iphone in fact didn't show any scratches even though i didn't really use a case on it most of the time so i think that is really really good but i think this one is going to show scratches you can see there's probably a thing or two in the corner in the button i mean you can see right there i don't know how i got it maybe my nail scrapped it or something when i was taking it out of the box but anyway i'm gonna have a case on it and probably a skin at the back just just showing off the nice gold band so this is stainless steel as usual I intended to get the iPhone XR but I decided not to because I really love stainless steel because it is very nice in the hand because there's a certain amount of weight. That's it for this video. I will get into the camera test in the next video. This has just been a quick unboxing. So take care guys and see you in the next video.